Hi, I'm Dr. Malay. I want to spend a second, if I could, with you and discuss what are the essential things that you need to have in your diet or in your program, so to speak, to really, on the healthy aspect of it, be able to get your body working and motivated and moving and, and reproducing and doing everything it's supposed to do in its lifetime. So, let's take a look. Number one. How many of you eat food? Obviously, we all eat food, but what are the type of foods that we're eating? Most people think that they're getting all of their vitamins, all their minerals, all they need from that Big Mac or whatever the case is that they're consuming during the day. It's not the case. You may pick up certain things, you're going to get a lot of fiber, you're going to get some nutrients, but the bottom line is you need to build a nutritional program in your lifestyle that gives you the ability, not only from taking supplements, but give you the ability to try to get reach all aspects of the food spectrum that you need to appropriately function as a humanoid on this planet. So let's take a look at it. Number one, and I'm going to give you the first, water. It is extremely important that you hydrate your body well. When I say well, I'm talking, I teach my patients to do one quart of water or one liter of water, whichever country or measuring system you happen to be going by, per 50 pounds of body weight. So if I'm weighing in at 200, obviously I'm going to need four quarts or four liters of water. That's bare minimum. If I'm doing an activity, uh, and I can give an example, uh, I raced motorcycles for a period of time and I was down in, in southern Utah just outside of Las Vegas, and we did a race, and in 45, oh, it was probably maybe an hour and 15 minutes of racing, I went through 72 ounces of water, that's roughly two quarts of water. At the end of that race, even though I consumed prior to going into the race, 72 ounces during the race, and watered up or hydrated up as soon as I could thereafter, I was still so dehydrated that I was physically ill and found myself, you know, throwing up over the top of the sagebrush at the side, side of the trailer that we were working in. In other words, hydration is dependent upon number one, the input, and number two, the type of activity that you're doing. Because it's going to process water, your body's going to process water very quickly. So, bare minimum, one quart per 50 pounds of body weight. You do the math. Everyone needs to sit down and do their own math. If you're coming in at 165 pounds, round up. Go four quarts. Make sense? This is step number one. Number two, let's talk about foods. And we actually should do a whole video just on foods, but the bottom line is you have proteins, you have sugars or carbohydrates, you have fats, and you have fiber. That's it. That's your direction. Body needs to be, needs some balance in these. Um, my personal opinion, and you have 300%, that's a three, 300% more protein than anything else you have here. 300% more than sugars, and then obviously the fats. Fats need to be even a sliver of that, and then fiber to balance that out. Fiber will fit into the carbohydrate version, but, or, or category, but fiber actually, most of it is what's called insoluble, meaning it's not really digested, so you can almost take that away from the game. And it's used as roughage. A lot of it will clean and to, you know, to uh, do certain functions in the body that are totally different than actually supplying as a nutrient. They become something different, okay? So bottom line is protein. You need a lot of protein into your system. This will help with adrenal fatigue. It'll help with weight loss. It'll help with energy levels throughout the day. It's going to help with your ability to concentrate, your hair growth, your nail growth, um, your skin, the color of your skin, the glow that you have. All of this relates back to what kind of ratio you have right here. So take a look at the foods. Learn to read labels. I think we need to do another video down the road that just says, hey, here's the label. Let's go through and read some labels. But the bottom line is get familiar with these four areas and learn to be able to understand what the foods are made up of or what's the makeup of that food. 
and specifically be sure to get a lot of protein into your system. I, I recommend anytime you eat a sugar or a carbohydrate, always do a protein along with it. How much? 300% more of it. So if you're having the steak and potatoes, you're going to be doing a lot more steak than you are potatoes. And hopefully it's pretty lean steak because you don't want too much fat. Although I, I do not recommend a no fat diet. You need fats in your system to be able to work it and function appropriately. So there you have it on the foods. Let's take a look at the essential nutrients that you're missing or that could be missing in your diet simply from the way that food is being processed. If you're heating your food, if you're not eating 100% raw diet, which none of us really do, then you're going to be destroying the enzymes in the food, and the enzymes will be destroyed anywhere between about 105 to 165 degrees. You raise the temperature of certain foods up, those enzymes will begin to fall off. You get past this point here, which is actually where it's killing you know, bacteria and the unwanted things you're doing because you're cooking it. The enzyme level is very, very low. Now enzymes, not only are important to break up your food so you get proper assimilation of what you're eating, but also they're extremely important for all the metabolic processes, all the things that you need to have go on. You know, the, those little chemicals in your body that need to be firing appropriately and, and need to be telling organs what to do and, 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 and causing balance to happen, whether it's female reproductive organs or male reproductive organs or your thyroid or your adrenals or liver function, all of these things require, require enzymes to be able to do those metabolic functions. So, again, taking a look at the food, we need to supplement these. I always tell my patients, I wouldn't even buy a multivitamin unless it was supplemented with enzymes in it. I wouldn't even buy a bottle of minerals unless it had enzymes in it. I wouldn't even buy any nutrition unless I knew that my body was going to be accepting it and accepting it gladly. That's the whole purpose for taking it. So anything that I give as far as a recommendation on nutrition, understand I went through that screening process to say, number one, does it have enzymes? I mean, go grab that cupboard that you have at the house and take a look at the stuff you got on some infomercial and find out if it really has enzymes in there. Because that's where the rubber meets the road as far as your ability to get the usage out of what you're consuming. Now, enzymes one, let's go to number two. Appropriate vitamins. If you don't have the enzymes, you're not going to absorb. What are the appropriate vitamins? Well, we'd like to say 100% natural vitamins. It's great. It's very difficult to find that because of the isolation of very specific vitamins that you may be consuming. But you want to do everything you can to find the most natural source of your vitamins. And have it be pretty broad spectrum spectrum. Have it be something that's complete and gives the ability to the body to, to really say, okay, I want this or I don't want this. Now understand that if you're not putting, you're putting natural things in, your body really has a pretty good screening capability to be able to pass out something that it doesn't need. If it's chemical, sometimes that can be a little bit perceived, you know, a little bit, uh, how do you want to say it? It, it, can, it can actually trick the body and create problems. And that's one of the problems that we have with, with putting a lot of toxins, a lot of chemicals into our body. It, it tricks our system and our system is not ready for it or you know, it overloads the liver or the kidney. So understand vitamins, extremely important. Also number three, minerals. Without these minerals, this stuff here doesn't work. You have to have very specific cofactors with every process that happens in the body to be able to make it happen. It's kind of like uh, you know having a pile of lumber and you want to build a house, but somebody forgot the nails. You know how far are you going to get? You can stack lumber till you're purple, but I'm telling you, without the nails, you're not going to get there. 
That's how important these pieces are. Every single one of them has its own purpose in how healthy you should be. Now, along with this stuff, there's a whole nother set of areas. There's, we'll, we'll talk about omegas, for example. These are the fats. There are different levels of fat that you can consume. You know, as far as the quality of the, the fish oil or the quality of omegas that you may be taking, you can go to some of the bigger stores and buy, you know, a whole entire gallon of the stuff. And you're going, oh, well, am I really getting the what I need out of this? And I'm telling you, if it's not expensive, you're probably not. But I want you to take a look at what's called the EPA and the DHAs. The higher those two number are per capsule, not per serving, but per capsule, the better, usually, the better the quality of the omega is. Also, you're looking for something that is cold processed or cold, comes from a cold source, usually a, a North Atlantic or something of that nature. Those are where the omegas are. There's a big push right now for creel oil, and I'm a huge believer in that. Krill is, is harvested at the other end of the world, this down in the south in the Antarctica. You can find high quality krill, in fact we have one that, that we use in our office that is a balance between omegas and krill oil together. Extremely high quality and it just, it, it, it's results just begin to happen. Their hair starts growing in, their nails are strong, their skin changes color and becomes live and vibrant. Their joints don't ache like they used to. I mean, I can tell you just numerous things that my patients have reported. So this is very, very powerful. There's a whole other set of things that you really, most people forget about and don't even call them essentials, but they are. You need something that supports the immune system. Specifically, there are a set of plants that everyone should be consuming that have the ability to literally aid your body in dealing with stresses such as uh, radiation, such as toxins from outside, such as the sun. Um, a lot of these plants that I personally consume on a daily basis are there to support my system to be able to deal with those types of external stresses. I consider them essential. So I'm going to put that here. Immune system, support it. Now, another group of plants are called adaptogens. There are only 30 known adaptogenic plants on planet Earth. There may be one or two that somebody's recently discovered, but I'm telling you the gist of it, there's 30 plants that have been found that if you put those into your program and into your diet, your body's capability or ability to, to deal with stress and create energy at a cellular level are extremely enhanced. So whether it's coming from a mushroom or from a very specific plant, you need to know what those are. Now there's five of them that I consume on a daily basis. A little bit of five different adaptogens. I put that on my list. Adaptogens. The other areas that you want, you want to have greens in your system. So I better put that on there. Why? Because greens is a pure source of food. In fact, there's a, a whole group of greens out there that are harvested in a lot of different areas that are that is considered a superfood. Has the ability to just turn your body on from inside out. It's a it's a real cool feeling. It's almost a rush to be that nutrient fixed, you know. And uh, I highly recommend it. So anyway, greens are on the list. We need to take a look at a few other areas that I want to go through. In fact, let me grab this just so I'm not missing one. Um, I talked about the enzymes, I talked about the immune system, this, oh, we need to have a good probiotic. Now, probiotics, sorry I'm writing upside down and backwards on this, but probiotics primarily come from a milk-based source. Now, that being the case, lacto this and lacto that, there's a lot of us that are lacto intolerant. If that's the case, you need to find a probiotic that is not milk based. We found a source that is carrot based that does the same exact thing. You're going to get all the, the bacillus that you're needing to actually create this probiotic, you know, to build that normal floor in your gut. 
but it is carrot based instead of milk based. How awesome is that? Um, I know that's one of the things I did research on certain cultures and certain races, for example, if you, you know, are from Japan or if you're from South America, there are certain things that you uh, genetically have the ability to process others. Uh, the, the Chinese have a very difficult time dealing with milk in their diet. So this is something that is extremely important uh, if that's a problem. And it's not just a Chinese issue or American issue or South American issue. We all have problems with milk. So, you know, bottom line is it's extremely important to have the appropriate probiotic into your system. Um, that about does it. I mean, this is a huge list. So the bottom line is, what, what if I could find something easy instead of going to you know, whatever store I go to, health food store, to say, hey, you know what, I need a bottle of this, a bottle of this, a bottle of this, a bottle of this, and oh, by the way, I know that if I put those two together, I'm actually going to get this, so give me that bottle, this bottle, and this bottle, and every month you're buying 18 different bottles of pills or juices, or you're buying, you know, you're the, they're frequent at the farmer's market and juice and everything. I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm an advocate of that, but the bottom line is I'm talking about stuff that you're not necessarily getting from your actual diet, from what you're consuming. What if you could take, get all of this, put it into one little pack, you zip it open, throw it in, chase it with some water, and you're set to go. That is available. Take a look. It's called Essentials Gold. It's part of the products that we found in the, in the Veo line, Veo Natural. And I highly recommend taking a look at it because you cannot find this anywhere else on the planet. It is just an awesome grouping of products and grouping of things that you're needing into your system. So again, I'm Dr. Malay and I thank you for your time.